senior student major, mathematics minor, and more out of college. And before coming out here in Silicon Valley last summer, like I was not interested in working in the tech industry. I now I'm working on a spa. I actually like I didn't want to apply to like Apple at all. I was more involved in research and stuff like that. So I come from a different background. Like, I did biophysics research. I did heliophysics research. And then this comes around, and then like I apply and I'm like in Silicon Valley now. So that's what it's about for me. Yeah, I was in a little different situation. Um, at the time, I was actually a senior. I was going in my senior year, and um, my last job, I loved the, the work, the, the area, but I didn't really like what I was doing. So I was just like, what am I about to do with my life? You know, like, where am I going? I don't want to work for where I was working for, and I just don't even know what I'm about to do. And then the next thing I know, you know, I was praying about it, and then this opportunity came up, you know, the Apple Scholars Program. So you want to click that? I'm actually a North Carolina a uh, computer science. I'm about to graduate actually in December. And um, it's really exciting because the opportunity came up in the midst of a time in my life where I was like, I really don't know what I want to do. But I've always been a tech, I've always been tech, because I'm a computer science major, like I said. And Steve Jobs was actually one of the people I was looking up to when I was in high school because quality of products is very important. Like, you know, I love MacBooks because of the way they were designed, the sleek intelligence. So it's just really exciting to, like, apply, and I just felt like it was, it was meant for me. So that's how we got into Silicon Valley. But it's more important, like, when we were coming out here, we knew we'd be out here for, for six months ahead of time. So it's like, well, we're coming to Silicon Valley, and actually one of our, sorry, one of our co-founders, Lucini Coma, is not here. Um, he's actually a master at Georgia Tech. He went help and also co-founded. He went to a &T. So we had discussions on, well, what are we going to do when we get to Silicon Valley? You know, we had this opportunity. There's this huge talk around the lack of diversity in tech. Well, they say it's a big, big problem, right? That, and, and we are the solution. So we're going to be the solution. So that's what a Black Valley is all about. Like, we put together the chat to bring us together while we're out here. And it turned out there's over 500 of us out here. So how are you going to say, oh, you're not out here, but we're over 500 people and connecting. So we started connecting. And that brings us to our next slide. Beginning in Silicon Valley. So if I'm not here in Silicon Valley, it's like completely different. It's like a 360 from the East Coast. Um, being in Silicon Valley, you're exposed to these different tech companies. They're like everywhere. You're exposed to different VC firms that are everywhere. And it's a push for innovation. And on the East Coast, it's not a push for innovation. It's a push for like getting to work for getting to the business. And not looking at like actually the tech industry. The tech industry is the future. Tech is everywhere. Like living in Silicon Valley, it's one of those things where you get exposed to new technology that hasn't reached the rest of the world. And I know like back home, like I know here, I go out to eat and I do like um, Apple Pay. Everybody does Apple Pay. Like you do tap your phone, tap your watch, and you Apple Pay. But like if you do that on the East Coast, people look at you crazy. Like, oh, you gonna pay? Where's your credit card? And I put on my phone to tap the gas station. Dude looks at me like, what's going on? Like, I didn't need to do that. I'm like, you work here. So, <laughs> I mean, like, it definitely was a different experience, like, in different cultures. And I, I love that. Like, that's one thing I love about it. And it was, being in Silicon Valley, I thought I was going to be myself. But it was with that Valley added other people. And we actually had somebody come up here and speak about their experience of, like, being out here in Silicon Valley before, and then, like, getting involved in Black Valley and seeing how that goes. So Jasmine will come up here and speak for a little bit about like, her experience. Welcome, Jasmine, everybody. Hello. Valley. 
We want to we want to end the face. Uh, we want to end stereotypes forever and change the face of tech forever. But more importantly, how do you do that? You have to ingratiate entrepreneurship and tech within our community. See, if we don't even strive to be in tech or strive to be entrepreneurs, then how can we ever become that? And all these companies kind of sway you. Hey, come work for us, but they give you like you know a low level job to where you're just doing one thing. And I know. A lot of people in the room, just from talking to you this week, that's not what we want. We want to do multiple things. So it's like, how do we put ourselves in that position? We have to be together, and we have to come together. And that's what this is. So this is actually a picture. Um, yeah, Black Valley was originally a chat, but Lucini Dakari and I kind of just kept coming together, and like, you know, all the things, crazy things were happening in the world at that time, like Philando Castile, I remember that was a big one, um, that this, you know, with cop shooting black people, it's like, you know, it's causing a lot of turmoil, and, and, and at, at work, we're talking about, oh man, what are we going to do about this? Like, what can we do to better this? But really no action was being taken. So we're like, you know what? We're just going to have an event. So actually, one of our uh, co-workers, well, he's not a co-worker, but he works at Apple. Uh, his name's Warren Jones. He owns Toasted Life, which is an LLC out here in Silicon Valley. Um, we had to sit down with him and just kind of told him, hey, Black Valley, you know, we got this this Black Valley chat, like, we kind of, you know, it's, it's a bunch of 500 of us out here in Silicon Valley, like, what can we really do with this? And in coming up, we like, first step, we just need to have an event. We just need to bring people together. And we had an event at WeWork in San Francisco where we brought uh, people from the Black Valley chat and Warren brought his network of successful engineers and professionals within the tech sport. So this is a picture of actually cross-generational people who are living the Black Valley lifestyle. I mean, Black Valley can be as simple as you being a black person in Silicon Valley. You know, you need a community to connect with, and that's really what Black Valley is. It doesn't really get deeper than that. We have to just bring our heads together and make greater things. So this comprises Warren works at Apple, but owns Toasted Life, which is a, they kind of throw parties and they have like uh, brand ambassador programs and things like that. Another person here works at Intel. He has an MBA and He's created a CrowdFit app to where you can actually go and, by location, find people who do similar workouts as you. So instead of going to the gym all through the week, I gotta put my 35s on, you can find people who also, you know, are kind of just beginning their stages and go, go have a workout partner. So it's just things like that, that kind of like represent what Black Valley is. And we want you all to come to Silicon Valley because I know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna be back out here. So, yeah, you can hear from us, but we also have another student come up here. Uh, we heard about Jasmine's story about joining Black Valley on the ladder year. But, so, the next person, Leah, she's going to come up and talk about, she was in it majority of the time. And she's going to talk about her experiences, like, throughout the, throughout the summer. So, welcome to Leah.
like in Silicon Valley. But like we interned in Silicon Valley, but as we flew out the program, we noticed that like a lot of you did too as well. So some of the key, key takeaways I had was like when I left, these are two of the key takeaways. But we want to hear from you as well. Like I was self-aware. At Morehouse College, like I felt like I was a smart guy. Like I was like, I know what I'm doing, I'm on my ground, like I'm gonna be straight. But I come out here to Silicon Valley and it's like, wait, like I'm kinda like I'm I'm even with everyone. I'm not I'm not above no one. Like I still gotta work at Target. I see I see my competition. My competition isn't in Morehouse College. It isn't the black community, it's everybody. It's the it's the white guy, the Asian guy, all working hard to become like great in the tech industry. And so I got self aware, I was like, all right, so this is what I need to go work on when I get back to school. Like these are my key things where I'm lacking skill sets and this and etc. So I'm also out here I develop skills. Like working in tech company, they look to help me. They look to help me push and like push myself to another level. They wanted me to gain skills so I can use these in the future. They weren't just looking to all right, do this project, do that. They looked to develop my own skills. And so like I wanted to hear about other people that interned in Silicon Valley, like what did y'all take away? Like what were some of the things that you were like, hey, this is what I left Silicon Valley with. This is what it helped me push my career forward. Can we bring up Ernest? Ernest, you want to talk to him? I know you were out there. Hi, everyone. My name is Ernest Holmes, a sophomore computer science major at Morehouse College. And this summer, I actually got to intern at Google. And just like them, I was nervous. <laughs> I was very nervous coming to the Silicon Valley because I had no idea. I'm from Jersey, East Coast. The West Coast was so different to me. And um, I didn't really know any of the other Google interns, except for a couple other Morehouse students that were there. And there was a uh, group passed by each other. Like, I saw some other black interns, but we never said anything. And through the Black Valley group chat, we actually got to connect. And they are some of my best friends now, Will and Dre from Howard University. We still talk to this day. We still connect. And it's really great. And we wouldn't have done that without Black Valley group chat. Um, it was little stuff that, like, we have to worry about that other people that were at Google and Apple and all these other companies don't have to worry about, like, where, where could I get a haircut? I had no idea where I could get a haircut. <laughs> like, there's like a super cut down the street, but like, they don't really know how to work with our hair. <laughs> and um, I, like, someone put it in the Black Hood group chat, like, I got the best haircut here in uh, Oakland, and that's where we all went. We took a whole trip down to go. <laughs>
quote that my dad like always told me growing up is that like if you open the door, like push it open far enough for like one or two people to come in after. And for Black Valley to push forward and to move forward, everyone has to have that mindset. You can't open the door for yourself because that's not going to change the culture. That's not what Black Valley is really about. We have to make sure that other people, you go out to your school, you tell them, look, you need to go out there and sit on Valley. You need to fly. Every company that I went to today, I wrote down the email and stuff like that. Because I know other people in my school want to come out here and sit on Valley. And like they, they didn't have the experience. But I still got the connections that I connected with so that they can get out here and have like a Black Valley experience. So with Black Valley, our future plan is the three words right here that you see, that's what we want to like put out to the world. So inspire. Like, definitely want to put in the mindset, like, look, right, you have the ability to do this. Like, um, inspire people that look, you have you can gain the skill set. It's not coming about it's not about coming out here in Silicon Valley and having all the skills and knowing everything. It's about developing around people. So let them get in the mindset like look, you can make it out here, empower them. Like, look, if you're gonna make them out here, you have to start coding. You gotta start coding on the weekend. You gotta put more time, more work into what you want to be. You have to actually care about your future. And just be self-aware, self-focused on yourself. And then initiate. Go out there. Go to these interviews. Go to different companies. Actually blow up someone's email that's trying to recruit you. You know what I mean? Like it's one of those things that it's just a self-want, and we have to make sure that we like put that inside ourselves as well as others. Because like I said, like we're opening up for ourselves, but we're opening up for two other people behind us. So like when you open up for two other people, make sure they know these key concepts as well. Because you're teaching. You're Black Valley. We're all a Black Valley. And to grow Black Valley, we need for two to have this in their mind. Definitely. Like, that's very important. Like, I have a question. So to Curry and Paul, what, what did you use to get into the Valley? You created Black Valley, but what did you use to get into the Valley? Well, um, we earlier we talked that we we are Apple HBCU scholars, so okay. we actually came through the pipeline of Thurgood Marshall College Fund. Uh, their team kept us located in DC. Uh, we actually applied for that scholarship, and then that scholarship came with an internship with Apple and a scholarship for the senior year. Okay. So that is how we technically got to put it on that. Yeah, with me, like I told you, like I didn't want to come to on Valley, but like my mentor like instilled this in me without me knowing. He was like, look, bro, you can go out there and do it. I was like, I, was like, I don't want to like, work a 9 to 5 dollars. Like, you don't know what you want to do. You're young. Like, go out there. Like, it's a lot of money out there. Like, there's several places that we went telling us, like, it's a lot of money out there that we need to get. And, like, that's when he's like, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of experience. a lot of skills. Like, this is the future. And he was telling me, like, look, if you go out there, he empowered me. I went to, he interviewed with me. He had mock interviews with me. Like, I went, he was like, I have an interview with Apple. Like, I'll be fine. Like, no, come to my office. We're going to interview. Get 30 minutes an hour. We're going to go over it. And then I, I went in there and performed. I went out, I talked to my interview, I was like, I know what I'm talking about, I knew my stuff, and it was just one of those things like, I'm going in here confident. So that's like how I got into Silicon Valley. And you can't take away the work that we put in. I mean, everybody here has put in the work. And I feel like as HBCU students, yes, you have to put in more work, but honestly, it's fun to put in that over hours. Like some nights we're up till 4 a.m. finishing this query, or 4 a.m. finishing this presentation, because it's not about just getting up there and doing it about having that quality to it. And that's what we bring. We have to be ourselves out here. We can't come out here and perform and, and be something we're not because that'll <coughs> take away from our work. We have to be ourselves, we have to feel comfortable within our environment. And that's something that we have to, you know, we helping coming coming together to help you do. Like be yourself. If it's anything, be yourself and be dope. Like there's nothing wrong with saying yes, we're dope. We like dope things, we like to do great things, we like to have fun, you know, we like fashion, we like XYZ, because that's a part of our culture. You can't take away the culture, because you try to do that, you take away the mind. So we need to, that's a part of the inspiration and empowerment. So that'll bring us really, uh, our future plans are to continue this movement. There's no black valley without black people in the valley, right? <laughs> you know, it's like, right? Everybody in this room should be in the valley at least once a year. Like, and especially this side of the room because it's the students. <laughs> we, should all, <laughs> we should all be trying to get out here, whether it's full-time job, take a leap of faith, save your money up, and, and, and move out here and start your own business. I mean, sometimes take a leap of faith. So our future plans are to serve as a network, a foundational network for you to be able to do what you want to do. Okay? We want to empower you and inspire you and, and help everyone do what they want to do at the end of the day. And we feel like, you know, that we don't really have that voice 
within corporate tech companies right now. But that's what we have to become. And on top of that, we have a really big initiative coming up that we want to talk about. We, uh, we recently, <laughs> so, uh, we had it, so we had an event in San Francisco, right? And that led to an event in Atlanta on October 1st. And from the event in Atlanta, um, and Jockwell actually, yes, Jockwell actually uh, sponsored that event. So shout out to the thank you, Jockwell, class of Jockwell. <laughs> but in doing that, we um, seized the opportunity of that event and actually met some you know, venture capitalists in Atlanta. And they already had, last year they brought 50 students to HBCU at South by Southwest. So HBCU at South by Southwest is an initiative to bring students to that conference and expose them and get link them with jobs and link them with venture capitalists. So in doing, you know, he saw what we were doing, what we were talking about this year or upcoming 2017, we want to bring 500 students to HBCU at South by Southwest. Okay, we want you to have the opportunity to get that venture capital firm, get that angel investment, or to get that job if around that time of the year you don't have one. So this is our big initiative coming up. Uh, we're pushing for corporate sponsors, we're pushing for sponsors, any sponsors that are willing to invest in this opportunity for our people to, to you know, take over and start to expand ourselves within the tech industry. Uh, a lot of people don't know. Who knows what South by Southwest is? Anybody want to talk about it? Um, it's like That's all you remember. Right. So you hear South by Southwest, you're like, oh, I know my favorite rapper was there, or my favorite artist was there. It's like a music festival, right? Well, you don't even know it's a tech conference there. Like, it's a tech conference as well. So we want to expose that to you. Like, one thing that our community extremely likes is awareness of opportunities. So this is a very big opportunity that we are pushing, and um, it's happening next, next March. Yeah, so definitely be on the lookout for it. Hear about the Black Valley group chat, Black Valley people. We will talk about it, promote it, and push it forward. Definitely. So that's enough about you know us presenting to you guys. And then lastly, um, before you clap, so we're actually <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're actually collecting information on like, the members that are in Black Valley. So, like I said, if you're in Silicon Valley, you're part of Black Valley. All of us in Silicon Valley right now. So, you're a part of Black Valley. Uh, <laughs> and we have like a member form where we just throw out information just to collect data on like who we are. So, we can help push us to these different companies. Like, look, I have this, these type of people, this many computer science majors, this many physics majors, and we're trying to like come out here. We need you to help support, help sponsor Black Valley. So, you can like go to that email, uh, not email, the URL, and just like so I have a quick little survey, that would be real cool so we can help, like, be the official member of Black Valley. So, like, go ahead and just... And that's also the start for the uh, application for the HBCU at South by Southwest. So we need, you know, if you want to uh, attend that conference, if you fill out this Google form, it'll give you a jump start on that application, and we'll have your information in the database. So when it's time for collection, you know, we know that it's... So we're going to open up for questions, comments, concerns, and we're trying to answer as many as possible. Uh, um, back here. Yeah, yeah I'll put it in the slide button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, one of the things we're talking about, like, Black Valley, like, it's an issue to, we want to put in other coaches as well. So we don't want to stay in Silicon Valley. There's not, we don't have a headquarters because we want to diverse, diversify other areas, other regions. Like, I want to bring Black Valley back to Atlanta. Like, I have people at Morehouse and at Spelman wearing Black Valley shirts. And it's like, I let them know, like, this is what we're about. This is what we're pushing. And they're like, yeah, I want to get involved in that. And this just brings attention. You see a Black Valley shirt, you're like, what is that? What is going on? So that's how we want to, like, integrate into different areas just by, like, networking. Like, people, we are Black Valley. So when you go places, Rock your Black Valley shirt to a conference and be like, look, black people are coming out here to Silicon Valley. Where do we get a shirt? Can you speak up, sorry? Where do we get a shirt? Yeah. Yeah, well, we, uh, we actually sell them shirts that uh, we're going to give links out for the shirts. They're $15. Uh, we, before we came to our event in Atlanta, I mean, you didn't hear about it, we kind of gave our shirts. We kind of <laughs> give our shirts uh, everywhere we go. Yeah. Uh, originally, we had a website um, during the summer where we were selling the shirts. But we kind of took a re a refocus on our brand, so we redesigned our website. And once the website gets back up, then you can buy shirts, hoodies as well. I believe we're going up to thirty dollars. Getting cold outside. 
So we're definitely going to uh, reach back out to you with that information. But our website kind of just starts to show. Um, as far as Black Valley and the financial part of it, uh, do you guys have any plans for actually like picking specific people in different areas, states, etc., to actually um, recruit for Black Valley and at the same time just recruit for Black tech in general? You know what I mean? Because Silicon Valley is huge in tech, and, but you, you have other other states that, that are huge in tech, and just bringing bringing those uh, African American people or just uh, you know uh, um, I'm lost with words right now, but people of color, you know what I'm saying, in, in the whole tech industry, and just expand the whole black family thing, so it's not... Yeah, man, like, honestly, like, Black Valley is an extremely organic organization or network. We never planned for this to go where it was. It was just a group that, hey, we need something to do, right, outside of work. So, with that being said, we didn't really have that trust. We don't, we, we haven't decided that we want to uh, chapter, you know, charter Black Valley. Instead, it's right now, it's really organic. It's more of a lifestyle, it's more of a network. And as we push forward, you know, and there are a lot of listeners out now trying to get you out here. Like, we're here now because of UNCF. It's more so we want to partner with these, we want to, we really need to come together with the, the heavy hitters that are already owning that market of diversity initiatives. UNCF, TMCF, you know, uh, Jockwell. We all need to come together and really come up with a strategy to really fix this problem. Like, we can really, we have the talent. Look, you know, we are the talent. You know what I'm saying? We are the talent. We just want to get in the right place. So there's no exact, like, we don't want to, you know, recruit, but we definitely are working on coming up to a, a, a real solution to where you don't have to keep putting band-aids on it. You know, we fix it. Like, 
Business Insider, which is really, really cool. 